All right, Niner Nation, back at you once again with another edition of Panning for Gold. Just two episodes left before we take our summer break, and this week is jam-packed full of things. Of course, a new batch of headlines for you. The Niners introduced their new head women's basketball coach earlier in the week. We have that, including highlight of the week and weekend weather update. A lot to get to today. Why wait any longer? Panning for Gold starts right now. This is going to be one of the longest beats ever because we are jam-packed with headlines. We talk about Coach Lambert down at the Wells Fargo Pro-Am. We introduce our new head women's basketball coach. We also talk about Twitter, Facebook, and a whole bunch of other stuff. The beat starts right now. All right, Niner Nation, a lot to get to on the beat this week. We start with a note about the Wells Fargo Championship. It's happening in uh, right here in Charlotte, the Quail Hollow Golf and Country Club, and it uh, starts next week, next Monday. The week-long event starts with the Pro-Am, and I'm proud to announce that the 49ers' own Brad Lambert, the head football coach, will be participating in the Pro-Am. And because PFG is such a wide-ranging media entity, <clears throat> Kind of a big deal because we are broadcasting over a million homes here in Mecklenburg County, which, like I said, kind of a big deal. I'm getting credentialed for the day. I'm going to follow Coach Lambert around, uh, filming him, swinging the sticks. I don't know who he's playing with. All that information, the specifics as far as the pro that he's playing with, the tee times, etc., have not been released yet. But uh, PFG will be on the scene all day long getting video of Coach Lambert. It should be a lot of fun down there at Quail Hollow. I just hope he plays a little bit better than he did at the 49er Golf Club outing last week. I kid, I kid, just full of jokes. Sorry, coach. <laughs> Moving on here on uh, headlines, of course, the beat. I know it's not basketball season, but uh, I know it's far in the rear view to many fans, but I wanted to give you a short update on some former 49ers playing professionally overseas, or are some of these guys so hard to keep up with, but uh, they've bounced around a lot overseas. We have an update for you here. Uh, PFG has gathered some information about former point guard Dewan Harris. He's still over in Finland playing hoops. Lee Meyer Goldwire just finished up his season in the MBDL. Lamont Mack has been playing in Greece, while Sean Colson, former 49er, uh, was playing in Lebanon this past year, and then Latvia before that. So he's been globetrotting around the world. Rodney White has been in China playing as well. Rodney uh, Curtis Withers and EJ Drayton have also been playing professionally overseas, but uh, it's just great to hear that these guys are still playing, and you know they are really globe-trotting ballers all over the world. 49ers are making an impact playing on the hardwood. Uh, it's tough, difficult to keep up with at times, of course, but also exciting, and uh, we'll try to keep uh, tabs on them throughout the summer as they continue their playing careers. Another note on PFG, a quick reminder, if you will, next week we'll mark the 20th episode of the season. We'll also mark the final episode of the season. We like to keep it round numbers here on PFG. The 20th episode will be our last for the summer. No word yet on whether this is a season finale or a series finale. That's uh, not up to me, it's up to the, the higher ups, if you will, to see if this show's gonna keep going. Uh, but anyway, it will be our last show for the uh, at least the summer and we're gonna go gangbusters, no doubt about it. We're currently in contract negotiations with Kurt Wombat to see if he wants to come back and make a special appearance. Of course, you all remember Kurt, he's over my right shoulder. What a wild man he is, but there's no guarantees on that. We're still working to see if Kurt will come back for the last episode of the season. Continuing on the beat, yes, the show might be ending soon, but our Twitter handle is still alive and well. It's Panning for Gold 2. Be sure to follow us and get all sorts of updates about things, you know, weird and wacky things that we like to tweet. And then also be sure to check out the 49ers on Facebook. That page just keeps growing and growing. Uh, we upload video content, we upload articles, headlines, news, all that stuff right to Facebook. And it's great. You become a fan of the 49ers on Facebook, it shows up right in your newsfeed because I know you all live there day to day. At least check it 30 times a day. Don't lie with yourself. It's okay. It's okay. And then, of course, on Facebook, you can always post comments of your own. So it's a nice little interactive forum as well for 49er fans. This week, the 49ers announced the hiring of their new head women's basketball co coach, Kara Consuegra, 
longtime Marquette assistant coach, now the head coach for the 49ers women's basketball team, and Consuegra made a great first impression on Niner Nation at the press conference earlier this week. We were there, of course, to get video, and here are some highlights. Today's hire of a head women's basketball coach falls in line with that philosophy. As we did in recent hires of a men's basketball coach and a football coach, we've identified an individual of high character who not only has a passion to succeed on the basketball court, but a passion for the well-being of her student athletes. She was a point guard in her playing days, and now she takes the point for our program. We are confident that she will not only continue the excellent tradition that our women's program has established, but also make the program better, just as she has done with so many of her previous teams. Ladies and gentlemen, the new head coach of the Charlotte 49ers women's basketball program, Kara Consuegra. I'm, I'm a coach that's for players. I am for the student athlete. Um, I believe in cultivating great relationships. I believe in fostering an environment of trust. Um, we're going to do everything we can to challenge our young ladies as people, as students, uh, as the person. Is You'll see all-out effort from me and from our players, from our staff. Uh, I'm a coach that I believe you get what you earn. Nothing is handed to you, and, and we will get what we earn. All of you young ladies, I want you guys to look at me right here. And I want to make a promise to you, right here, that I promise you that I am going to do everything I can. I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can to help bring this program to even greater heights. And what I'm asking from each of you is to do the same. And I think if we can do that and agree to work on that together, we're going to achieve greatness. I really believe that. Um, you're going to see a team that plays hard every possession. You're going to see a team that has great passion for Charlotte and for the 49ers. And you're going to see that on every single possession. Tough times, easy times, hopefully more easy times and tough times. Um, you're, you're, going to, you're going to be proud of the team that we'll put on the court. Because your program is one of the best in the conference. That job is the most highly sought after job. And then he said, in addition to not settling, you need to know it's not the biggest job opening right now as far as size of the school or a 1A program. He said, but it's the hottest job out there. He said, there are more than 200 people that want that job. So that's because our program is in good shape. And Kara alluded to the fact that the program, each time we have made a coaching change, we've continued with the success because of the individual that we have aspired to hire. So we've done our research, we know we've got the right one, and our goal now is to be in the NCAA tournament just about every year, Kara. All right, some great highlights there from the press conference. Welcome uh, Coach Consuegra to Niner Nation. Rolling on with the beat, baseball center fielder and PFG correspondent is a finalist for the Lowe's Senior Class Award and he needs a little bit of our help. Of course, I'm talking about Corey Tilton. CT is a finalist for the award and it's not just about athletic achievements. No, 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 no. It's much more than that. It's, uh, it's about loyalty for staying in school, commitment to the community, and of course, doing work in the classroom. CT, a near 4.0. Uh, student athlete. The fan vote is happening right now at SeniorClassAward.com. You can vote once a day and you can do it multiple times uh, on multiple computers. So maybe you just go to the library, log on to every computer and vote. You can do that. That's legal. Uh, you can do it once per day. So go to, go to your, your mom's computer, go to some stranger's computer if you want. Make sure you go to your own computer, by the way, and vote for CT on SeniorClassAward.com. He needs our help. I feel like his cam campaign manager here. You know, I feel like Vote for CT. He is going to make the world a better place. <laughs> All kidding aside, vote for CT. He can win the thing. It's, it's just a great honor being a finalist for this award, but uh, if he wins it, that would be awesome. So be sure to vote uh, for CT out there for the Lowe's Senior Class Award. Hopefully he can do his thing and win it uh, this, uh, this coming spring. That's going to do it for headlines this week. It's time for a special edition of Highlight of the Week. If you remember all the way back to our first episode of the season, we did Lainey Whitaker's trick shots. She did a whole video throwing it over a house. She threw a shot in from like 50 feet away. Just amazing trick shots. Well, she has come out with her second video, and that is this week's Highlight of the Week. Cue up that wonderful athletic accomplishment.
This is freshman shooting guard Lainey Whitaker of the 49ers women's basketball team with her second trick shot video. Who doesn't like basketball trick shots? I mean, really, this one from up in Belk Gym, I don't even know where that was, to be honest. This one from the track inside Halton Arena on the bounce, money. Give her a follow on YouTube, Niner Girl 20. Again, this is her second video. Get those views up on the YouTube page. She's really creative with some of this stuff, but uh, congratulations, Lainey. Here, if we need a long snapper for football, Lainey Whitaker's got us covered. Uh, congratulations, Lainey. You are this week's highlight of the week. Not a whole lot of athletic events going on here on the Charlotte campus this weekend, but our in-house meteorologist Garen Biedenbaugh has the weekend weather update. Garrett, just two more times before the summer break. I know it, it is really eating you up inside, but please give us this weekend weather update and make it better than ever. Thanks, AJ. Garrett Beatonball here with your weekend weather update. Yes, the next to the last show. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my summer, but hey, you can still follow me on Twitter at WXGarrett for all of your latest local information here in the Charlotte region. But as, as we look at the present here, mostly sunny skies for this Friday. We'll have high temperatures reaching around the mid 70s. The same basic forecast for your Saturday and Sunday, as you see here, mostly sunny skies and high temperatures reaching the mid to upper 70s. So great weekend conditions here for you in the Charlotte metro area. Great time to go out, put the sunglasses on and get a tan. Now back to you, AJ. Thank you, Garrett. And is it just me, Niner Nation, or does Garrett look like Tom Cruise in Risky Business when he puts those sunglasses on? Anyway, we'll take a short break. When we come back, a lot more coming up here on Painting for Gold. Don't go anywhere. darkness and smoke, leaders emerge, daring possibilities, taking control and moving us all. It's a battle brought to a field where snare beats start to feel like heartbeats and speeches inspire greatness. It's playing to potential, holding the line and pushing the limits, discovering courage, strength and determination, discovering destiny. It's stepping off the sidelines and being a part of something bigger, united by the love of a place and the love of a game, where there's nothing that can compete with heart and everything, including a legacy, is left on the field. It's finding your role, proving yourself, and reveling in the glory. It's a team led by a few and followed by many. It's college football. And for the Charlotte 49ers, it's a rush. I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Um, everything that I thought about Charlotte, uh, it has exceeded my expectations and more. Great people, great student athletes, um, just a successful program that I'm excited to help continue us to build on that success and achieve great things. What I hired and was looking for is I didn't want somebody's third or fourth assistant who doesn't really make calls or make decisions. I wanted the first assistant that made decisions. Well, not only was she the first assistant that made decisions, she designed their whole offense. So she has called the shots. In essence, to me, she's almost been in a head coaching role. The biggest thing is going to be to evaluate the talent we have. I know we have a lot of it and to find out how we can put those pieces together to create the best thing on the court. Um, even though I was a guard, I certainly believe in inside play. I know that you can't win without a great inside presence. So you will see an inside-outside style from us, but certainly a style that will help us win games. <laughs> 